Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, in the last session we completed the story of Prophet Adam alayhi salam. In this session we'll be covering the story of Prophet Iblis alayhi salam. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. When Adam alayhi salam was close to death, he called his son Sheath. Sheath means Allah's gift. He taught him the hours of day and night. He taught him the times of salah, fasting, hajj, and zakah. He told him that a big flood was about to happen on earth. Adam alayhi salam then died. Allah sent 50 booklets to, to sheath. In them were Allah's teachings to the people on earth. He called them to worship Allah alone without any partner. He wanted them, he warned them against with disbelieving and making partners with Allah. Sheath lived amongst his children, teaching them Iman. When he was close to dying, he gave orders to Anush. Anush then used to call to his people, just as his father used to do. He in turn taught his son, Qainan, how to call the people to Allah. Mihlayil was of the fourth of the generation. He was a believing king. He made war against the people of Shirk, who were the children of Qabil. He taught his son, Yid, who called the people to Iman and good deeds. When Yid was about to die, he called his son Idris. He was a pious man who worshipped Allah and was not greedy for the world. He was learned and under he, he learned and understood what his father wanted. He used to take out the booklets which Allah sent to Sheikh alayhi salam and read them every day so that he would not forget them. He used to worship Allah and remember him a lot. He was grateful for his favors. Idris alayhi salam learned and was the first to write with a pen. He was the first to stitch and weave clothes. He was the first to learn the positions of the stars and he taught them to the people. He learned astronomy, mathematics and wisdom. Idris had seen Adam alayhi salam. He lived at the same time as him for 380 years. Idris alayhi salam went all around the world and entered all places. He called the people to worship Allah alone without any partner. He taught them the beneficial knowledge he had learned such as astronomy, mathematics, stitching, and writing. Idris salam never forgot to worship Allah as he had ordered him to do. The angels loved him because he worshipped Allah a lot and fulfilled all the rites of worship. He prayed and fasted on time. He always remembered the poor and needy. The people from every place loved Idris salam because of his great learning and worship. Everyone said that he was one of them. The Egyptians call him Horus. And, and say that he was born at Memphis, the old capital of Egypt. They also said that he went to all the countries and then went back to Egypt. The Jews call him Enoch. They say that he was a Nabi who worshipped Allah a lot. Allah loved him and lifted him to the sky. The Greeks call him Hermes. They regard him as one of their wisest ones. All these prove that all the peoples of the world loved Idris alayhi salam. This was because he taught them beneficial knowledge and how to worship Allah and perform salah. The Muslims love him because Allah told us that he was a truthful and a nabi. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw him in the fourth heaven when he went, to the, when he went on, is, on the Isra and Mi'raj. The angels loved Idris alayhi salam. He used to read the books of Sheith alayhi salam a lot. Allah also revealed 30 booklets to Idris alayhi salam which he used to read day and night. He was always busy in praising Allah and Dua. The people of Egypt loved him. The king of Egypt obeyed him and believed in him. He then thought about the Egyptian affairs. He went to the first spring of the Nile and taught the Egyptians how to measure the lands. He, th he taught them what to do when the water flooded and when it was little. He taught them proper farming and how to water the farms. In this way, he joined ruling, wisdom, nabuwa, and wisdom. It is said that he built many cities because he taught the people building and engineering. The people of Babylon, which is now in Iraq, also loved him. Idris alayhi salam used to stitch clothing. He remembered Allah while he stitched. If he forgot to remember Allah, then he would undo the stitches and do it over again while remembering Allah. Those stories which we are sure about him include 1. Idris alayhi salam loved Allah. Every day, the angels would take up his good deeds to the heavens, 
His deeds were equal to all the deeds of the people of the world of his time put together. The angels loved him a lot. Number two, Idris alayhi salam was the first to write, the first to stitch clothing, and the first to learn astronomy, mathematics, and engineering. Number three, he went around the world teaching people proper worship and the, and the beneficial knowledge which he had learned. Number four, all the nations loved him, so much so that they all wanted to make him one of them. Allah also loved his Nabi who worshipped and remembered him a lot. Allah therefore gave him a high rank. The people of the world love him and speak good about him. In heaven, Allah raised his rank and made him near. Idris alayhi salam was near to Allah. This was the honor of Idris alayhi salam. Before Idris alayhi salam died, he taught his son correct worship. He told him to believe in Allah and not disbelief. He taught him all the beneficial knowledge he had learned before. He, or he ordered him to wage war against the sons of Qabi, who worshipped idols and disbelieved in Allah. Idris alayhi salam then passed away. Now we'll talk about some beneficial lessons to take from the story of Prophet Idris alayhi salam. Number one, worship Allah alone without any partners. Number two, a believer makes an effort to learn beneficial knowledge and teach it to others. Number three, a believer always remembers Allah, even when he is working. Number four, a believer loves all people and does good to them, and then they love him also. Number five, Allah loves the believers and raises their ranks. And number six, the angels love the believer when he does good deeds. Alhamdulillah, we have covered the story of Prophet Idris alayhi salam. Insha'Allah, we'll be beginning the story of Prophet Nuh alayhi salam in the next session. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.